Hi guys, welcome back to the kitchen. Today is going to be another exciting recipe on how to use up all that zucchini and all those cherry tomatoes. We are going to make a cherry tomato zucchini salsa. So I, as you guys might have watched my last video, I used up about 50 pounds of my regular um, paste and bulk tomatoes to make a spaghetti sauce. But I have all of these cherry tomatoes today, and we're gonna see if we can stretch it to get a big batch of some yummy salsa. So there's gonna be lots of chopping, lots of preparation, I'll bring you guys back and kind of talk through the recipe, what some of the ingredients are. And in our family, cherry tomato salsa is our absolute favorite. So this year we grew three different varieties of cherry tomatoes. Just a regular red cherry tomato, I'm sure it's called something. Um, these sweet little uh, golden cherry tomatoes. And then I had an awesome volunteer of the Black Beauty or Chocolate Cherry Tomato that I got last year from In My Gardener. Um, so that's gonna be the blend. All my zucchini I have already shredded and that I did that all last night because you have to like toss it in the salt and let it sit overnight to pull out a lot of the extra juices. So I, I spent this morning washing that, draining it, washing it again, draining it again. And the recipe does call for red and green peppers. We only have purple bell peppers, so that's what we're using. Of course, jalapenos, cilantro, garlic, onions, and then your spices, cumin and coriander, um, garlic powder, some mustard. I do have some fresh garlic I'll be throwing in here and lots of onions. So I'll see you guys back when we get it together. I'll tell you how long it takes me to cook it down using my big roaster and then I'll tell you guys how it tastes. This is my first year making this so we'll see how it works out. Okay so don't laugh at me because this honestly is my only food processor. It's very tiny. You know I have a um, a blender but it does just makes everything liquid so one day I'm sure I'll invest in something bigger but for now we just do it in small batches and I don't peel my cherry tomatoes I throw them in here whole I'm gonna chop them and we'll just get through that process I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete I'm dancing through Everything's about to come my way Nothing can ruin my day No matter what anyone does or say I smile at fools No, I don't care cause I am on my way Up and I won't stop I won't slow down Steady on my feet I'm gonna rise Up, no I won't stop It is my time Cause I know what it's like to be broke what it's like when nothing goes your way so i'm gonna let myself enjoy the fruit from this lucky day yeah i am on my way up i won't slow down yeah i am on my way up i won't slow down I'm strolling down the street with all of my favorite songs on repeat. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. And I don't care if you spill coffee on me or if the sky is gray or blue. No, I don't care because I am on my way up and I won't stop. I won't slow down. Standing on my feet, I'm gonna rise up. No, I won't stop. It is my time. I know what it's like to be broke, yeah And I know what it's like when nothing goes your way So I'm gonna let myself enjoy The fruit from this lucky day Yeah, I am on my way Okay, I got all the veggies chopped um, I just added the garlic Now we're adding the lime juice 
I don't know if I'm going to have enough, so I might have to substitute with lemon. And the cumin. Coriander. Some, some mustard. And we're going to throw in a little bit of brown sugar. Oh, we got to do peppers still yet. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to cook this for a while and I'm going to go ahead and add it now. I'm going to add two cans of tomato paste. Let's see if I can do this without making a mess. forgot my salt. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna go ahead and like I said and add the tomato paste and that'll just stretch my tomatoes um, that I you know are extra juicy and I should just have to cook this down I don't know maybe a couple hours but I've got a lot of running to do today. Tonight is um, Dan is cooking for us a traditional Vietnamese meal, uh, two of them actually, and we're having um, traditional Vietnamese desserts because today is the day that they celebrate something called Mid-Autumn Festival. Um, I'm not sure what it means, but it sounds like maybe similar to how we celebrate, not really celebrate, but we acknowledge the harvest moon time. And uh, it's something to do with the moon. So we are, she needs shrimp for one of the recipes. So I need to go to the store, get some shrimp. And, um, oh, this is going to be so beautiful. It's got such a pretty color. Hold on, I'll take you guys in and show you up close. Um, but we have lots of family coming over, um, Cam and Claire. And Nick and Emily, Todd's sister Kim and his parents are coming. Um, tomorrow we have, um, again, YFU, Youth for Understanding, is the organization that we are hosting an exchange student through. And they're having a big picnic. So we've got that going on tomorrow. Last Friday was, I was sitting here doing the same with you guys, but canning spaghetti sauce. And it was the first letter I received from Abigail. So today's Friday again. So I'm counting my blessings and hoping and praying for another letter today in the mail. So all in all, it's going to be a great day. But I will bring you guys back when this is cooked down and ready to can. So see all the beautiful colors in there? Let's see what we can get on one spoon. Some pretty orange and green and red. There's the purple bell pepper in here. I think it's gonna be good. Alrighty guys, I am back from running to town. I ended up stopping at Salvation Army and I wanted to show you a few things that I got. I just love shopping there, but stay tuned for a whole nother video because there's lots more that I bought that I'm going to show you how I'm decorating the porch for fall. But look at this beautiful blanket. Isn't that pretty? $3. It's gorgeous, cozy for the fall. I like going there to shop for decorations and stuff like that. I got myself a couple cute new sweaters. They were having a sale on the tan tags, like an old, um, just a comfy navy cardigan. And, oops, don't show you that. I, honestly, I do not have a Pyrex um, loaf pan, so I got one of those. 
And one of my favorite things that I um, try to find when I'm antiquing is Fire King. And they have this beautiful Fire King bowl. I keep most of that stuff up at the cabin. Not sure if this one's gonna make it up there. And I only have dishes for eight people. We have 10 people coming over tonight. We often have more than eight people at the house. So I just picked up a set of cute four plates um, that we can use when we have extra company. But the sauce is done cooking down. I'm gonna, and it's wonderful guys, it's so good. Water's um, heating up in the canners behind me. I'm gonna go ahead and get these jars filled and we'll see how much we got. If you haven't been to Aldi's in a while, when I had to stop there and shop, they're carrying a decent selection of organic seasonings now. I ran out of my garlic and my cumin when I was making this, so I picked some up. And not a bad price at all. All right. Oh, let me bring you guys in. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. It's a little chunkier than we usually make it, probably because Todd's not here supervising. He likes probably a finer salsa than I do. Anyway, guys, it's a fantastic way to extend your tomato harvest and still get an amazing um, amount of salsa by using that zucchini. Um, it really stretches it. And of course, as you know, zucchini just takes on the flavor of whatever you're making. So. Oh my gosh, you guys, this salsa is everything. So I ended up with two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21, 22. This one is totally overfilling, so this is gonna go to Nick. Nick, happy birthday. Um, so I'm not gonna can that one. I'm just gonna eat some for lunch and then give the rest to him for his birthday. I'm going to wipe these lids down. Oh, the flavor is amazing, guys. It is so good. Please tell me if you try it in the comments below. Um, so again, if you have tons and tons, you know those cherry tomato plants never stop producing. What a wonderful way to use them up. Super simple. You don't have to peel them. Um, and all that zucchini. I used... It was about 24 cups of shredded zucchini last night when I, um, you know, before the draining and cleaning process. So, thanks guys for watching. Stick around. It's going to be a really fun video that we share with you about tonight's festivities that Dan's going to be sharing with us. I'm going to get some fall decorating done after I'm done with this canning. Talk to you guys later. Yeah, I am on my way. I won't slow down. I am on my way. Oh, I won't slow down.